The universe is massive, and it holds many incredible things. Scientists are always searching the stars, and recently they found something so strange and mysterious it's never been seen before, and no one knows what it is. What have they found, and why is there a whole team researching these mysterious objects? Based in Australia, the International EMU Project has a team of over 300 scientists from 21 countries. The job of this team of scientists is to survey the entire southern sky as far as 30 degrees north. EMU plans to peer into parts of the universe with the ASCAP telescope, which can survey large swathes of the sky very quickly and look where no other telescope has looked before and create a higher resolution radio map of objects in the southern sky. But now imagine for a moment you're one of the scientists using this telescope when suddenly you spot something so strange that you end up calling it Object WTF. This is exactly what happened to radio astronomer Anna Kapinska in September 2019. While browsing through observations made by the EMU project using the revolutionary new ASCAP telescope, she noticed a weird shape that looked like a ghostly circle of radio emission hanging out in space like a cosmic smoke ring. A few days later, another team member of EMU, Emil Lenk, found a second ring even spookier than the last. And despite eliminating all the obvious explanations of these strange objects in their latest research, the team at EMU are still working to explain where they came from. From the very beginning, the team of astronomers at EMU predicted exploration of the unknown would lead to unexpected discoveries, but they didn't expect to see an anomaly like the mysterious ORCs so quickly, and their discoveries were a shocking surprise for the team. Although our scientists have a decent understanding of the workings of our universe, they've only begun to scratch the surface. To put it into perspective, some years ago, astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at a dark speck of sky so small it could be covered by Abraham Lincoln's eye on a penny, held at arm's length. With that tiny area of the dark sky, they discovered 3,000 points of light, each galaxy comprised of an average of 100 billion stars. In this vastness of space, only four of these ORCs have been found. They don't really know what they are, exactly how far away they are, or even how they were formed. At first, the scientists thought the discovery was generated by a software error, but soon they were confirmed to be real, as independent confirmation was provided using the Australia Telescope Compact Array and the Murchison Widefield Array. The only thing scientists have been able to do so far is rule out possibilities of what the ghost circle could be. They can be seen in the radio spectrum. In fact, when other types of telescopes were pointed towards them, the odd radio circles were not visible at all. None of the ORCs has any obvious optical, infrared or X-ray counterparts, which has made life very difficult for those studying them. ORCs 1 to 3 were discovered by visual inspection of the images from the EMU survey. But ORC 4 was found in archival data taken with the giant MetaWave telescope all the way back in March 2013. This means that even before the ASCAP telescope, there is a strong possibility that astronomers have been staring at these objects for years without ever detecting them because of their inferior instruments. When it comes to the ORCs, the biggest problem facing astronomers is that circular features are regular occurrences in radio astronomy. They usually represent a spherical object such as a supernova remnant, a planetary nebula, or a star-forming galaxy. They may also arise from imaging artifacts around bright sources caused by calibration errors. However, ORCs do not seem to correspond to any of these known types of object or artifact. The four ORCs are very similar in nature. They all display a strong circular symmetry, and their diameter is about one arc a minute, which is about one sixtieth of a degree. But despite their similarities, they differ enough to confuse astronomers even more. Two of them have a galaxy near the center of the radio emissions, which are in the visible spectrum, while the other two don't. Also, three of them consist of a party-filled ring, while ORC3 seems to be a uniform disk. There's another puzzling thing about them. Two are very close together, implying that these two ORCs have a common origin. This is not the same for ORCs 1 and 4, 
implying that they are occurrences based on two very separate events. When faced with such challenges, the scientific method is to slowly and methodically eliminate possibilities until scientists can claim that they found something uniquely new. That's exactly what the EMU team recently completed. And in November 2020, they published their findings in a research paper for the Astronomical Society of Australia. Here's what they found. The first possibility they eliminated was the ORCs being a supernova remnant or SRN. SRNs are structures resulting from the explosion of a star in a supernova. The remnant is bounded by an expanding shock wave and consists of ejected material expanding from the explosion. The scientists studying the ORCs found that the probability of one of them being a supernova remnant is only a 0.055% chance, and that the probability of the other three being SRNs is 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 5%. Therefore, it's unlikely that the ORCs are remnants of supernovae. The second possibility was these bizarre radio circles were galactic planetary nebula, or planetary nebulae, that can also appear as diffused disks of radio emissions just like ORCs. They form at the end of the life of a star of intermediate mass anywhere between one and eight solar masses. In fact, our Sun will also form a planetary nebula at the end of its life cycle. However, the radio emission of PNE is generated by thermal emissions and therefore expected to have much higher spectral index than those measured for the four odd radio circles. In simple terms, it means that the proportional relationship between the amount of power radiated through a given area and the frequency of the radiation is much lower in the case of an ORC and thus they could not be classified as PNEs. The EMU team also eliminated other possibilities such as the ORCs being part of a star-forming galaxy or a ring galaxy viewed front-on. All such galaxies are bright and optical wavelengths, which contrasts with the lack of measurable optical emission from the ORCs. They also cannot be considered part of a double-lobed radio galaxy or a bent-tail radio galaxy for the same reason. The other possibility is that the circles are an Einstein ring, which is a gravitational lensing of background sources that produce arcs of emission. If a source, lens and observer are aligned, then the lensed image can take the form of a so-called Einstein ring. But in the case of the ORCs, it's unlikely that such a lens would be sufficiently symmetric and perfectly aligned with the background source to produce the observed circular symmetry observed in an Einstein ring. They've also put an end to theories that these ORCs could be other astronomical objects, such as gravitational termination shock or a cluster halo, both of which are phenomena observed after a neutron star goes supernova. Most astronomical research is aimed at refining our knowledge of the universe, or testing theories. Very rarely do astronomers get the challenge of stumbling across a new type of object, which nobody's seen before, and to try and figure out what it is. The mystery behind these new, ghostly circles continue. The question astronomers have to continually ask themselves is whether these ORCs are a completely new phenomenon, or something they already know about but viewed in a weird way. And if it really is completely new, how does that change our understanding of the universe? So what do you guys think? Do you believe the scientific community will take years before they can pinpoint the origins behind the odd radio circles, just like the fast radio burst research? Or will they solve this new astronomical mystery relatively quickly? Let us know in the comments. That's all from us today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.